So we'll start with our assignment number three. So the problem statement for assignment number three is create an external height table, load data from internal height table or manage height table to external height table. So the steps which you have to follow is first step is to create an internal height table. Then we have to create a file named as data.txt contains data to be loaded in internal table. Next step is to create an external height table. Then we will load data from internal height table to external height table. And last step is to check the content of external height table, whether the data is being loaded from internal table to external table or not. So for that, the first is we have to start with our virtual machine. After starting the virtual machine, we have to start our cloud era. So after starting the cloud era, we will get an environment like this. So we have to start a terminal by pressing this black screen where we will type a hive. So after typing a hive, if your services are started, your hive will start successfully. So after starting a hive, we will get a terminal like this. So the first step is we have to create a database. So for that, the syntax is create database create database and the database name so my database name is my db3 press semicolon and press enter so once the database is created we have to use our database so you have to type use and the database name so our database name is my db3 so after that, press semicolon and press enter. Now we are into our database, MyDB3. So the next step is we'll create an internal table. So for that, the command is create table, table name, height underscore EMP. The attributes which we want to store as a part of table, ID, which is of type integer, name, which is of type varchar and salary which is of type float. Press enter. After that, row format delimited which will uh, tell us about the table has different records which are stored in row format. The next is the field is terminated by comma. So data which we are going to load from data.txt where the attributes are separated by comma. That's why field is terminated by comma. Next is lines terminated by backslash. Because each record is terminated present on a new line. That's why lines terminated by backslash. And the last step is to we have to store our table as a text file. That's why store as text file. Press semicolon and then press enter. So now our internal table is created named as hive underscore emp. Now the next step is to create a data.txt. So for that, open a new terminal by pressing the black screen. Here we'll use a G editor to type a data. So data.txt. Press enter. So I have already created a data.txt in which few records are already present. So if you can observe, each attribute is separated by comma. So the first record is 1, comma, Akash, comma, and is salary. So similarly, the second record, third record, and the fourth record. So after typing the data, save this file, close data.txt, and again go back to the height terminal. So now my data.txt is ready. So now the next step is to load data from data.txt to our internal table. So for that the command is load data local in path give the name of file from which your data is to be loaded data.txt into table the table name we have to give our internal table name is height underscore emp. And press semicolon. So what syntax is load data local in part. So our data.txt is present locally in our current working environment 
and we want to load our data into table named as hive underscore env. Press enter. So this will load our data from data.txt to our internal data. So how to check our data is being loaded or not? For that, the command is select star from the table name. So this will show the number of records being loaded in our table. So now the next step is to create an external table. So for that, the syntax is create external table. So here we will type create external table. So we'll give name of my table as hive underscore ext now. Hive underscore ext. So create external table. hive underscore exe where the fields of internal table and external table should match. So IP, ID which is of type env, name is of type varchar and sal is of type float. Then press enter. The same steps we have to follow, row format delimited. It will tell us our each record is present on a separate row. Then fields terminated by what? So fields terminated by comma. Then lines terminated by backslash n. And store this table as text file. Press semicolon and press enter. So now my external table is also created. Now we load our data from internal table. It is hive underscore ent to external table named as hive underscore ext. So for that the command is insert into table name which is my internal table name so insert into um, okay we have to give an external table name insert into hive ext which is our external table so from which table we have to load it from the internal table so select start from your internal table name hive ent press semicolon and press enter so now your map reduce job has started which will load our data from internal table, which is hive ent, to our external table named as hive ext. So if you can see the map reduce here, the map is 0% and reduce is 0%. So now once the job is done, our map will be 100% and reduce will be also 100%. So now our job is done. So just check the content of external table, whether the data is being loaded or not. For that, the command is select star from your external table name. So hive underscore ext. Press semicolon and press enter. So now you can see the external table contents are also reflected with the content of internal table.